Hello everyone, I haven't updated Korea's tutorial for you for a long time. Then today I will update the latest Korea function for you. It supports 1024 level real-time generative models. This is very powerful. Before you know it, in fact there is a little bed the scene to tell you. That is, when everyone pays for it. Here it is, oh, be sure to pay attention when paying. Is this the annual payment? This, uh, many friends think it's a month's money. Then pay. I see a lot of people in Disco complaining about this. He accidentally bought the entire membership of the year. Then I accidentally stepped on the pit too. So let me tell you. Okay, after paying the money, we can use it. That's right, there is a fee for this function, but the effect is still okay. Take a look for everyone. Then our previous tutorial has explained it for you. The basic functions of Korea. Like the way it's generated. Some of it. Green, this is the type, right? Some of it. Image style. And one of its enhanced features. Then here we can go to paint. Then generate a picture, right? Is there a new option now? Let's start with words to explain to you. First of all, we can drag it. The position of the entire panel can be changed because many people have different ones. Job requirements. What about here? We enter one as usual, prompt. Enter a prompt word, like what? Then we add a game, like cyberpunk. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we can add some more of this style we like. Okay, let's update this image. Okay, so what about, for example, where we're generating images in real time? In fact, the previous function, like images, and here's a concept, just a concept illustration. We need to click on this quick update. To make the picture more realistic, we want to get a bigger size. You need to click this to send to enhance and upscale. Right, that's what I explained to you before. Is this cartoon style? Well, actually, there is an even more powerful function. We don't need to do too complicated operations. Let's click on this latest one called HD. What about its pixels? It will directly pull to a higher level. That's 1024, a real-time HD generation. Then we actually had this preview picture before. This pixel is relatively low. Then let's click this. If this is selected, that's its function. In the future, the generated pictures will be real-time. Very real. We can also enhance, so we get a much higher resolution picture. Then this picture has been reached, 1024. That is, we can directly use it at work. Then if you are not satisfied with it, we can click here to send it to the enhanced page. Then in enhance, we can upgrade it to, uh, for example, 2048, and so on higher this pixel level. But this, it's one of his clarity. It's enough for me, to many friends. If you are doing it, this internet design, it's actually enough. So actually, in addition to that, uh, the latest Korea has a magical function. That is, it can be electroplated. So we all know we have a really good picture, such as your own photos. Or it is an image that we have generated. So we would prefer the generation to be based on this image. So we can perform an electrocardiogram function on this image. Just click here. And then we upload an uh, After we upload the previously generated images, what should we do next? Drag this value. If its number is greater, it will be closer to the image we uploaded. If the number were smaller, it will reduce one of them. An impact on our pictures. It's still very interesting, isn't it? We can use this function to be able to be more authentic. Uh, this uh, generate more delicate images. What happens after we click Enhance? this way. You can send this image to our enhance page. Because I didn't save the previous pictures, so here you can see its record. Here we can see our original image. We can also upload our photos at the same time and then proceed to enhance. You can enter your prompt here. And then here we can adjust the pixel value we want. So the lowest is 2048. So you can use a very high resolution image. So here, actually, it is not recommended to use too large a size because it doesn't actually have any practical use. 
It's just like in life, generally speaking, like in 2000. It should be like this, 4000. The picture already meets the requirements of high definition. And then here we can choose some styles. For example, this picture, or our digital art, and so on. More or less the same as before. Let's choose none first, and then turn down the AI strength a little bit, because our original pictures are already good enough. I don't want it to make more changes to the face. There is also the resemblance of strength here. We can also turn it down a little here. Negative prompts are a set of negative keywords for it. We can write about something like six fingers. For example, some of the bad words like facial collapse and so on. Just avoid it. Okay, let's click on enhance now. And then we just wait. That's because the version I bought is basic. So there's actually a higher pro. There is also a higher level version of it. So their speeds are all different. So this is a very discriminatory plan. Yes, the waiting time for basic may be a little longer. Let's be patient. Okay, we have now generated it. Let's take a look. This is um, before its enhancement. And then after enhancement. Well, it's all very well detailed, huh? The texture of its skin, including the city behind it. The layers of the hair are already good. So we can download it. In this way, we get an image with a resolution of 2048. This can basically be used as a wallpaper. It's very fun to play the game. And then we can also regenerate it. And then there's no problem with that. It is mainly to pay attention to this AI strength. And then there's a negative prompt. And we prompt. It will affect the final image we get. Upgrade it then. What else? Our new version also includes a rating system. This is quite interesting. Everyone can give it a try. Okay, that's it for this issue. Hope you like it. See you next time.